Hello there. I'm sitting outside my home. It's a bit chilly today. Um, things are coming to life on Earth. <laughs> I'm noticing, at least in our part of the Earth, I'm noticing the Nanking cherry tree flowers. It was just one flower the other day and now there's just a whole bunch. Um, I'm appreciating the color of the flower that's sitting behind me. I'm appreciating so much the sound of the birds these days and the buds that are on the trees. Life um, through creation seems to be coming alive. Doesn't matter what's going around us, creation keeps on coming to life. It's kind of an amazing thing. And there's something about creation for me that makes me feel connected to God. It makes me feel connected to God in a really special way. When I'm near creation, when I see a moon at night or a sunset that is beyond beautiful or a rainbow or watch a storm outside or just or, ju or just sit just sit in the beauty of God's creation I feel connected to God I feel one with the God who loves me and I think creation is God's gift to us and it's free it's free for everyone to enjoy um, it's just there for us and I think it helps us to know that God is with us God is with us all the time and for me when I'm in creation, I just feel very, very much like God is close. So I've been looking in the scripture, and there's so much scripture around God's connection with us through creation. Um, and Psalm 104, you might want to read the whole psalm. But it begins with, Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. I think this earth is clothed um, with God's love. And then I go on to this part here. It says, Oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. God has created such beautiful, beautiful things for us to enjoy. And then I go over to Psalm 90. And in Psalm 90, these words are here. And I just think it's kind of, it's kind of powerful. Um, they talk about how God dwells with us in Psalm 90, if I can even find the page. And here it says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are our dwelling place. And I think for me, when I'm, I'm in creation, I, I feel God's dwelling with us, God's living with us, living among us, moving and breathing life into us and life into the world that God has created. And it's just, it's just amazing to me. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for God's presence through nature. I'm grateful for the sound of the birds. I'm grateful for the beauty around us. And I'm very thankful to our Creator for being with us and in us and, and walking with us. Let's pray together. Lord, when we are near your creation, we cannot help but know that you are present. You are one with us. You are here and you love us. You have given us such an incredible world. You love us. Thank you for this and thank you for, for sending so much beauty around us so that we might know your love every single day. Through the sound of the birds, through the colors, through, through your growth, through, through light, through darkness, you are there. Thank you, Lord. And um, we, just, we just give you thanks for your presence with us at all times. And we pray this in your name. Amen. So I'm going to invite you this week, maybe even over summer, because we're kind of in a funny time these days, to really stop and notice creation. Notice the little things, the little bird, the little bee. I, before we were here, there was a little bee sitting on the tree here or maybe just notice a bird just sitting and, and eating just notice notice the love of God for you through creation it's there and um, and just be there with it and let God's love permeate your being through all that God has made God bless you today and as you move into this day I hope you know the presence of your God dwelling with you and in you take care God bless bye now